Good morning, good morning, losers. Chow back here for another episode. Yesterday, Chow tired, sleepy. We've been doing too many repo. I repoing too much back to back. And I want you guys to catch up on all Chow videos. So today might rain. A little cloudy, a little steamy. You can feel the moisture. Chance of rain, like 45%. Chow finished working on inspector investigator truck. So we finish up the back end, axle fully broken, all braking line all broke, exhaust manifold cracked. We had to retape that, re we had to weld a new one on there. What else are we doing? A lot of work frame wise. And then now all of a sudden, all of a sudden Lone Star breakdown. It wasn't starting yesterday. I replaced the starter. It it broke. A um, few other things i doing just because I have it up on lift. We did a quick little oil change, make sure all fluid good. And then air pressure, all that. Just maintenance kind of stuff. I think it's going to work now, but it worry Chow. If Chow Lone Star go down, what am I doing? I have I have a rollback, but that thing's so versatile. If we ever need to tow something, this do have winch. But it's nothing, nothing like the Lone Star. So what I'm thinking, we might get something new. So I saw, I was looking on Craigslist. And whatever you call it, Facebook Marketplace. We're looking around. We're scavenging for things. Looking for good deals. Chow always get good deal. Remember, Chow salesman. I have all that experience. And so I was just at Subway getting my breakfast sandwich. And I found something really good. So I go message the guy, right? And I ask him, you know, for like 10 grand less. It was a tow truck for like 40 G. Chow un undercut him by 10 Gs. And he said, come take a look. So Chow going to be moving over there now. We take the rollback. Just to show him we we a business, we know what we're doing, we know we legit, we have money. Because if I took poop red, you know, our investigator truck, it not look too good. We need to come in, you know, big money, big roller. We shut that, we shut this, we keep working on this. Mower is still working good. We need to shut the shop down. It's going to be a bit of a drive. Nothing too bad. We have one repo today. But I ain't doing it till later. Chow just kind of tired. We did so many repo back to back. About seven repo in five day. Two of them were deadly. The, one of them scared me. Uh, it was my first one ever. It went terrible. It almost scared me. But I wasn't going to do it no more. But what are we doing? We're heading out. His name Jeremy. He, uh, I don't know what he's doing. I think he tow in recovery services. He's selling off his fleet of tow truck. But he in another town, 45 minute drive, he say. So I, I plug it in my GPS and we heading there now. Okay, quick change of plan. The guy actually texts me on Facebook Messenger and he say this, you know, right, that the location is moved. And I was like, okay, how come like 30 minutes ago, one spot and the other? He said they like selling the shop out. So, and they'd like move it to a different space because they officially like sold the, the shop just now. So. I was thinking maybe I could talk to them, see if they have any leftover towing equipment. But now it's a bit closer to Chow, so not too far of a drive. The police officer, slow down, slow down. You see? I'm speeding a bit. Pretty good trap he set there. Chow been reading the comment section. You guys have been asking a bunch of questions about what map is Chow playing on, like what mod is this, all this stuff. So real quick, this map is called Ravenport 4X. Meaning a Ravenport time four. So this is normal Ravenport. But then you have all this crazy. Oh no. Never text and drive. And not good for you. Texting and driving is terrible. And you can get in car crashes. Like Chow just almost did there. And then. Okay so. And then also this is made by Lambo, Winston. And, and a bunch of other people. Once you download you see all the people who make it. It's really cool. So check out Ravenport 4X. Best map in the game. But Chow just heading up here. The guy say it at some trailer park or something. I think he lived there. And he just bring it back home to sell it to me. Which worked good. Quite a bit close. It's like 25 minutes closer than it was. Here we go. Ooh, look at the elevator. It like got hit or something. Maybe it was by a tornado. Pretty cool. We heading up here. So this is Ravenport. But just much, much bigger. Because this is normal Ravenport. And then you have all this water, water, water. Big ocean there. What? Chow almost got hit over by the train. Chow would have got hit by the train. That would have been terrible. Chow would have been done. 
There we go. And then a lot of you telling me to open up a chicken coop or a chicken farm right next to the repo. I was thinking about this. But then I have to have like few legal things and stuff. And we see how it's going. And the business, the LLC. There's a few like issue with that. This it? This is what? That's a truck. I forgot to tell you guys it's it weird color. And I need to change it if I do pick it up. But here's the truck, Western Star. Wait a second. I believe it's called a Mighty Mouse is the model. Mayberry Heavy Rescue. There it is. Okay, so it has some defect or some cosmetic work. When I get a new paint job, I have them re-put the decal on. It looked pretty clean in the pictures and when I talking to him. I was light on. Pretty clean, a few scratches, a few dent, but you know, it's a tow truck. It's not supposed to be the best looking. So Chow liked this a lot. I'm gonna knock on the door. He probably heard me pull in, letting me take first look. There's like the little window there that you can see down. Make sure you don't hit nothing. There we go, all the cool blinkers, but that's ripped off. Um, maybe he was towing somebody and then they got mad and rip it. All the cables look good, a few rust, a little rusty. Underneath, a bit rusty. That a bit rusty. But you can't help it. It's it a bit older. But what y'all thinking? A great negotiator. I, I good at, at getting what I need. Y'all thinking. I, I undercut him 10k. He told me to come look. Maybe he think he good negotiator. But he don't know who he messing with. We gonna swindle him down. Maybe another 5 more. Buy this thing for 25k instead of 40. Pretty nice pickup. Chow gonna go in, talk to him, do my swindling, do my persuasion. Then we're gonna see if we can come out alive with it. Not too sure what I'm gonna do if I probably leave this truck here, have my investigator come get it with his with his helper. Let's go in. We're gonna start off at 30k. This is what I tell him on. Are we gonna start off like at 22 and a half? He said he would take 30. He told me to come look, but we're gonna start off 22 and a half. Try and get it for 25. We'll see what he say. Chow did it, boys. We got it for 27.5. Chow, a little bit more than I wanted, but this is 13, no, 12 and a half off. The price he he have listed on Facebook, but we're doing good. That's high miles, but taking care of, always in shop, he told me. Pretty clean. Little bit of rust, little bit of everything, but it older, it older. Okay, what we're gonna do, we're gonna park this. We're gonna park this in his driveway. He tell me it's okay. Then we're gonna have investigator come pick it up when he get to work. There we go. Perfect. Then we're gonna take this. Give me key. First time driving. Pretty cool. Like the red seat. Very nice. Check everything out. Check this. We took it on a few test drive. I wasn't gonna bring the camera in. Then was scare away. The man. Very nice man. Jeremy was. Here we go, turn off all the hazards. Be pulling out. A pretty clean chow like it. Look at chow look good. Chow look good in there. One thing I didn't test out is if it can do the spin move like our like a lone star. I don't know if the mighty mouse can do it, but this is what we will call the truck, the mighty mouse. Or double M for short. Are we pulling in? We're gonna go to the shop. Change up the customization. I see you there soon, losers. Okay, we're just getting into town. They're driving good, very good. Better than the Lone Star, even though it's bigger. The air ride suspension help. Make things a lot smoother, a lot easier on Chow when I'm sipping on my on my Coca-Cola and eating my fried chicken. Here we go, we're pulling in. There we go, but what I'm thinking we might be bringing back the chicken farm. Of course, that would be a lot of fun. Maybe hire another worker who can help on repo. Then also help part-time chicken. There we go. We're pulling in. Let's see. I never test the horn out. Pretty cool horn. I kind of feel like a tugboat, maybe. i pull in to Carlos's. In the back. There we go. We're going to pull in. They're going to paint her up. going to take too long. We... I already told them I was coming in and everything. There we go. Okay, here's the Mighty Mouse now. We kept the white in the back. 
And then we change a few thing up, design better, the logo better. And then it all red there. That worked good. Oh, one thing they, they didn't change the decal. No worries, it, it no big deal. We have our own license plate, and everything. We'll switch the DOT number, all that good stuff. So in the phone number we switched that. That kinda on my duty. Are we taking this back now to the shop? Got kinda hungry for another subway pretty much every time. I have subway. I have a big old gift card that I got for Christmas. There we go. But there we are. What are you guys thinking of the new tow truck for Chow? I think it's pretty cool. The Western Star. We won't. Uh, we could use it on today, Repo. I'm going to head back. We're going to get information on Repo. I think it's a small little truck. Or I can't remember what it is. We have to look. Information on email from the bank. We might need the Mighty Mouse, but I think it's pretty small. One thing I forgot to show you and I forgot to test out. If we can do the Mighty Mouse, what the Lone Star could do. Here we go, getting speed. You're about to do it. Go for it, come on. Push it. Come on, more speed, more speed. Turning, lean, lean. Come on. I don't know if it's gonna do, not enough weight. Come on, go, 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 go. That all I can do. I knew it could get close, but it won't do what the Lone Star do. We get it up on the side of the wheel. We can drift around pretty good, though. Be fun. One thing we're doing, we go in here. We make sure it fit inside. One thing I forgot to measure was the height. Maybe the exhaust could be close. No, it could, it could. Only thing we have to worry about in future Make sure all tow trucks are going to fit in. Unless we need to buy a new shop or something or move. But I kind of like this shop. It old. It, it matched Chow style. It clean. Not too clean, but it's somewhat clean. There we go. It fit perfectly. No problem. No nothing. The only thing is our doors are a bit skinny. Sometimes Chow trouble thinning, fitting through. No, I'm just kidding. I'm not fat. But sometimes these truck are pretty close. Not much room there. Decent amount there, but it kind of tight. What we're doing now, we're, uh, I got paperwork back here. And I'm going to start doing some paperwork. And then we go repo. Uh-oh, Chow got bad news. Just call, got called from the bank. I was going to confirm the repo. Say I'm taking off now. And they said no, someone already beat me. They had like a double... Some weird word where they gave it to me and another competitor. The competitor got it done before I did, which kind of rude that they do that to Chow. They don't give Chow a option. I took day off yesterday, and I think I think they got mad I did that. But no more day off for Chow. We have no repo, so I'm gonna keep servicing the Lone Star and all that. But that about it for the day episode. Brand new to Chow, Western Star. Mighty Mouse. What are you guys thinking? Paint job turned out pretty good. The white turned out good. Don't call my number there. Do not call that. And then... I think it looked pretty good. We're going to work on the Lone Star. We need to get repos going. And i see you guys later.